What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. So in today's video I have some important news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak. Apple just stopped signing iOS 16.5 and it's important if you want a jailbreak to stay on iOS 16.5 or lower. We need to get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Altphone iOS Downgrade Tool which is available for both Windows and Mac OS and this one allows you to basically easily and efficiently downgrade back to iOS 16.5 if of course you have issues with iOS 17 beta because iOS 17 beta is is indeed a developer beta which can be very buggy. A lot of applications don't work anymore and of course you will experience some issues. So with this tool you can easily revert back to a stable iOS version if iOS 17 or iPadOS 17 doesn't work for you. You can easily upgrade and downgrade with this, you can install iOS 17 as well and of course this supports all devices that are supported by iOS 17 so no issues in there. The downgrade is actually quite easy to do, you just follow the steps on the application and it will downgrade your device in about 10 minutes if you don't like iOS 17 or if it's too buggy for you. So definitely check the program out in the link below, it's also available on altphone.com. So today Apple decided to stop signing iOS 16.5 and instead they only left iOS 16.5.1 currently signed. If you navigate here on my website iDeviceCentral.com on iOS signing status over here to select your device, you can see that now only iOS 16.5.1 is supported. You can only install that version, you cannot downgrade anymore to 16.5. However, if you want to jailbreak anytime soon, iOS 16.5 is much better than 16.5.1, particularly because iOS 16.5.1 and iPadOS 16.5.1 patches two important vulnerabilities, a powerful kernel vulnerability which was used in the wild so we do know that this one is good for jailbreak purposes, and then a WebKit vulnerability which again was used in the wild and we know that this could be usable for a Safari based jailbreak. Of course we can't use these by themselves, only these vulnerabilities, we would still need a PAC bypass and stuff like that for a full jailbreak, but these vulnerabilities would be a great foundation for a proper jailbreak and if you update iOS 16.5.1 these are now patched. So iOS 16.5 and lower are still vulnerable and if you stay on those versions you will be much better off than staying on 16.5.1. Sure if you don't care about jailbreaking and you only want the security content, the security feature of iOS you can go ahead and update to iOS 16.5.1. If you don't care about jailbreaking updating to iOS 16.5.1 is actually the best option especially since these vulnerabilities are quite powerful powerful and they have been used in the wild. So it's best to update but only if you don't care about jailbreaking and if you don't care about jailbreaking but still want some jailbreak tweaks and themes you can always use Kawabanga Lite which was released for Windows as well and it works on iOS 15.0 all the way up to iOS 17 and this works on all devices so you can still get some themes and some tweaks and stuff like that even without the jailbreak but if you want a full jailbreak definitely don't update the 16.5.1 because Apple stopped signing 16.5 and downgrades are now impossible. So that's basically it, just a quick PSA, thank you for watching, I am GS Now, peace out.